Hi everybody and welcome to Baphomet's Lounge. I am so happy to have my honey brown back. It's been this this COVID's been killing us, but you know we got to do what we got to do. And uh, been going to the beer store a lot, and uh, I've been like, hey, you got any honey brown? Honey brown? No, no. It's been like three four months, and um, I uh, was there uh, over the weekend, and the guy's like, hey, you're the guy looking for honey brown? I'm like, yeah. He's like, hey, we got some honey brown. I'm like, ah, and bought a case immediately. Okay. It's been a while since we had one of these, and in light of this interesting election cycle and, and, and what's been going on, I think it's time to look into our logical fallacy cards, okay? And today's logical fallacy is the burden of proof, which is what a lot of people like to, to use, and um, this is a classic example because we are in the midst of an election that certain people are disputing. Okay, and they're saying that there was fraud. So, um, saying that the burden of proof lies not with the person making the claim, but with someone, but with someone else to disprove. Bertrand declares that a teapot is at this very moment in orbit around the sun, between the Earth and Mars, and that because no one can prove him wrong, his claim is therefore a valid one. So, burden of proof, the logical fallacy that uh, people like to use, and of course, as we're in the middle, of course, people are, are arguing and saying, no, this election was rigged, and other people are saying, no, this was clearly counted, and uh, now, of course, it's at a burden of proof. So, um, but the logical fallacy is when you say something absolutely crazy, but you make that person prove you're, that you're wrong. And so that's the burden of proof there. So, there's a quick little ditty, a little quick logical fallacy there. Um, just uh, bouncing around, got a new single coming out uh, Friday. And uh, I've been sort of chilling. I'm reading a lot. I, I, I got um, Peter Frampton's new book, and I've been reading that. And um, drinking and recording and uh, enjoying life because, hey, we're stuck in the house. We have to be safe, everybody. So, I'd highly recommend it. You be safe. And to everybody that voted, um, this is one of the large selections that we had. Thank you for being part of the democratic process. You people are the real heroes because you voted. Okay? I don't care who you voted for because it's your right to vote for who you wanted to vote for. I just care that you voted. All right. That's all. And until next time, peace. Peace.